I mean, it's the Monday after the NFL draft. There are a billion things that are going to happen between now and the first weekend of September. But in your eyes, where where do the Pittsburgh Steelers stand as of April 29th? Yeah, they look like a team to me that can, you know, I don't think they're in that first tier of like, you know, of AFC teams in terms yeah. of, you know, Kansas City or Ravens or, I mean, I'd even put the Houston Texans up there um, right now after all the offseason additions they made. Yeah. Um, but like, I mean, you know, the Bills kind of fell off a little bit. Like, I'm not super confident in the Bills. Like, they lost a ton of talent and didn't seem to have any interest in replacing it. Um, I think uh, you can say the Tennessee Titans are pushing, but they don't really seem like they have a ton of pieces that all fit together. They still have some holes as well. Um, like, I think the Steelers can be a team that pushes for the AFC championship game. Like, if they get the right matchup, like if they draw, end up drawing the Ravens in the divisional round or something oh. like that, like the idea that they couldn't, they 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 have they've had the Ravens upper hand for for a long time. So I, I see this as a team that can at least make it to an AFC Championship game. I wouldn't pick them against Patrick Mahomes in in many scenarios. Um, so I can't really imagine picking them to make a Super Bowl at this point. But I mean, it was very clear what their needs were going into this draft, what their biggest needs were, and they addressed most, if not all of them, with still a decent chunk of the off season left to go. Um, so. I, I'm more confident in them than I was before, and I was still pretty confident after their uh, after their first free agency period about what they had added and what they had what they had made happen. So I, I'm very high on this team. Um, I'm very high on this roster. Like you said, I think they have showed their hand a little bit, and they showed you what they're going to be, or at least they told you what they want to be. Um, mm-hmm. And I still think there's room for that in the NFL. I mean, I, I think you know, we've seen over the past couple of seasons that there's been a little bit of a rebirth in terms of the kind of ball control, ground and pound, like running backs have value again. Offensive lines have value again. Defenses yep. have a ton of value again. Like it's weird. The, the Kansas city chiefs winning, you know, winning this past super bowl, it wasn't really, you know, Patrick Mahomes and the offense weren't really the star of the show. It was, yep. it was their defense. That was really the better unit on this team. So um, I think, having an offense that is good enough and a defense that is elite is a way to win. It's a formula for winning in the NFL and the Steelers are going to chase that formula uh, this season. It seems like, yeah, look at, I, I think that's spot on is I'm not, it's way too early to say Super Bowl. It's way too early to say Super Bowl for any team, except for the Kansas city chiefs for mm-hmm. any of them. Like you could talk San Francisco for it. You could talk any team. The only team that you could say, if I had to put my money on them winning the Super Bowl today, I feel good about it. Is the Kansas City Chiefs. Like, that's just being realistic. A team that could compete in the AFC, I think, is exactly where the Steelers are. Who, I am not looking at this team as a team that's barely going to find their way into the postseason. I think this is a team that could... I think this is a team that could garner the respect of the, of the NFL for the first time in a long time. That could walk into a season and you are actually somewhat nervous to play the Steelers where you're like, okay, this could be like, they have the upside to do a lot of big things. I think that's where the Steelers stand. They've done everything perfect. And just like I said, just like you said, you, you did it. You did it your way. Like the Steelers did it the Steelers way. They had a plan. They had, that's the coolest part about this off season is I don't know if it's Omar Khan. I don't know if it was Art Rooney. I don't know if it was a wake up call during the playoffs. I have no idea what it was, but the Steelers, put a plan in place after the season ended and they have executed that plan with almost perfection throughout the off season. Like it's wild to watch. And you could, the craziest part is like for the first time, it feels like for the first time in a while, at least it feels like all of us and all of the fans were able to identify exactly how the Steelers should go about their off season this year. And we watched it all come to place. And you're like, Look at that. They're not thinking too hard about this. They understand exactly what's going on because it's clear as day what's going on. And they just went and they fixed it. I, I think that right now it's again, it's too, just like you said, it's too early to say Super Bowl. You don't know anything about it. You've never seen them play together. There is a long way to go. Anything could happen. But a team that could compete in the AFC, I think I feel really good about. And I think that, you know, optimistic fans will tell you that there's a shot and, you know, non-optimistic fans will tell you like, Worst case scenario, this team's definitely a playoff team. You know, they look really like they definitely look like a playoff team. And I think that's a great place to be. Guys, this is a public service announcement and it is 
Argent. You think that you have mastered the look in sweatpants and joggers? Well, guess what, my friend? You have not. You are one step away from wearing pajamas in public, and your significant other is starting to think that you look like a slob. It's time to take your sexy ass and put it in some jeans. If you take anything away from today's show, it's that the perfect jean isn't just another pair of stiff, uncomfortable, nut-crushing pants. They have cracked the code on solving your denim difficulties, and it is time to rejoice. Check them out. Always looking good. The Perfect Jean makes great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are as comfortable as sweatpants and more stretchy than a kangaroo's pouch. It's made from a special denim fabric that's super soft, just like sweatpants, just like joggers, but it doesn't make you look like a slob. And the best part, they make six fits from skinny to thick, thick waist sizes from 26 to 50 and lengths from 26 to 38. So whether you are a thick, thick guy or a short king, or guess what? Anything in between. They perfectly fit your body and accentuate your assets. Pun intended. Trust us when we say that these are truly fucking perfect jeans. Once you try them on, you'll never go back. Once again, boom. For a limited time, our listeners get 15% off their first order plus free shipping at theperfectgene.myc or just Google the perfect gene and use our code all Steelers 15 for 15 percent off look at i have been looking for a while i have been talking to my fiance daily i need to find a look i've tried them all i tried khakis i tried joggers i tried sweatpants i tried shorts nothing fits me like the perfect jeans fit me the perfect gene doesn't just stop there though they've revolutionized t-shirts as well the perfect t has just enough stretch to hide the beer belly while accentuating your arms and chest for that flawless look it's soft like butter without shrinking in the wash like all your other t-shirts it's just no well perfect the perfect gene always has free shipping always has free exchanges and always has free returns So you can have peace of mind knowing that your order is completely risk-free. It's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.myc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use our code ALLSTEALERS15 at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.myc with promo code ALLSTEALERS15. After your purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please, please, please give us some support and tell them that we sent you. Fuck your khakis and get the perfect gene. Right, because, I mean, I think I look at them and I I think this is kind of connected to the idea that uh, that they're going back to kind of traditional Steelers football. I think they, they raised their floor quite a bit, you know? Yes. I don't think you are going to see... Even in a worst case scenario, losses to multiple three win teams in back to back weeks like we did last yes. year. You know? Yes. You're not getting Patriots and Cardinals losses, especially back to back. You're not getting multiple of those, I think, this year. I think they're just going to be simply too physical up front. The defense is too good and too deep and too complete. Uh, and I think the offense is going to, just by nature of being able to control the clock, being able to run the football, you know, like having a little bit more. I don't know. I, I'm going to say competence because that's the only word that comes to mind. It's but true, just, though, yeah. Yeah, it's just like the floor is so much higher for this team, and they've already established the floor is pretty damn high for them. Um, Like last year, I mean, it, you. T- I feel like you talked to Steelers fans, and last year was an unmitigated disaster for 14 or 15 weeks, and then yes. the last three weeks of the year kind of revived things a little bit. Um, yes. I don't. I don't think you're going to look at it this way. That way this year. I mean, like for a team that still won 10 games last year in the regular season, you're, uh, I, 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 you know, you can already count out at least one of those, one of those losses to Arizona or New England or anything like to a three win to a team that picked yes. in the top five, you know, like I, I just think the, the, the steps that they needed to take to get better and to become, you know, a 12 win team, a 13 win team they made uh, and they can eliminate yes. some of the small, like silly mistakes and the, the, the small silly slip ups uh, because of the way that they're going to play next year. 